racially targeted police brutality against black Americans. In fact, if you are a white American and you commit a violent crime, you have a 25% higher chance of suffering a police fatality than black people. Now, you might come across some people that are really bad at math and they'll say, Candace, I know that only nine black people were killed last year unarmed by police officers and 19 white people were killed unarmed by police officers. But black Americans are only 13% of the population and white Americans are 60% of the population. So that's why. No, that's not how math works. You don't look at the numbers according to how many black people there are in America and how many white people there are in America because not all white people commit crimes and not all black people commit crimes. The numbers you look at is how many police encounters black people had versus how many police encounters white Americans had. And when you look at those numbers, you will realize that the only thing we're doing disproportionately in this country is committing crimes. Take 2018, for example, right? 13% of the population, Black Americans, accounted for 40, 40% of all of the murders and something like 50% of all violent offenses in the country. That's not normal. We are having more encounters with police. And despite having more encounters with police, white Americans are the ones that are being killed at a higher rate, okay? And Hispanic men at a higher rate. When you take a subset and you look over 100,000 encounters with police and uh, with white Americans versus black, black Americans, you will discover that black Americans have less of a chance of having a fatal incident with police officers. Those are the facts. And I really don't care how those facts make you feel. I know it's so easy, so easy today being a black person to take the victim narrative, to believe that we're being brutalized by police officers, to believe that these nine instances of police brutality that happen per annum are a really big deal, but we should shut up about the thousands of black Americans that are being killed by other black Americans because it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter when we kill ourselves. It doesn't matter when we're on drugs. It doesn't matter when we're high. We want the police officers to hold our hands. And if, God forbid, something goes wrong in, in, in the midst of a police arrest, we want to riot and we want to burn down our own neighborhoods because that makes so much sense.